So what we did here was we assumed that these two pieces here might be in the same soliton loop. Uh, they looked a similar shape, uh, although this one does seem to have a very large crystal in it. I wish I could get an SEM of that at this time. But anyway, so we wanted to see if these two affected areas uh, had a similar um, distribution of elements. And lo and behold, uh, it's a pretty damn close match. Yes, there's a little bit more copper in the second sample. The iron and copper ratio has switched around, but uh, pretty much every peak is, is spot on. And uh, you'll note that the aluminium is very low by comparison. And uh, I think we've got a table of the previous one here. Um, so you have, uh, uh, I think that might be it. Last result, oh, sorry. Recent result, 18% on the iron, 15.5% on the, 15.6% uh, on the copper, and zinc is 6. Or nearly 7%. And iron, copper, and zinc, 18.8, 15.6, and nearly 7% on the zinc. Uh, they're pretty much spot on. Uh, and that's, that's really made me happy. <laughs> So the theory is that the ions fuse to iron, the aluminium atoms fuse to iron, standard George Joshua type reaction. And then the copper is some sort of oxygen that's fused into the iron. And the zinc is water from moisture in the air that gets fused onto the copper. The sulfur is two oxygen atoms being fused to sulfur. Uh, the lead is just at the end of the reaction chain because you get a whole bunch of uh, stuff being shoved together. And uh, I, I haven't got a ready explanation for the rest of it, but. Uh, um, that's really satisfying. So Kristalinov here, he suggested, uh, you know, after we tested these two spots, which look similar uh, and found they were almost ident identical within a ballpark area uh, of the same material, uh, we tested this area, uh, which is kind of uh, midway between them. And uh, there are basically things that are not there um, and the, the ratios are, are wildly different um, uh, to uh, the previous two samples, effectively.